join me. Let's do some art. Today I want to work with this nicely textured metal piece. It will be my substrate and was given to me by a dear friend. And so was this really big ball which will also play a major part in today's design. So I start by adding a cardboard shape to the substrate mainly so the glue does not drip through all those holes and then I pulled out some kids toys and I had this round little rubber ducky and some leftover plastic easter eggs and I will glue them together to create a part of my assemblage and you will recognize very soon where I'm going with this. So these elements allow me to give this piece a bit of a curve. As always I used my E6000 to glue everything together. Now to make it stand up I add an empty tea light container and while this dries I will start working with these tiny bits. I have a variety of plastic elements and I will also use these two jewelry pieces. Now this of course will be another one of my assemblage projects, another animal and as you saw I started with very simple plastic toy bits. I will add a few more to build up the main shape but then I will follow up mostly with broken jewelry bits, some charms, some handyman metal items. I believe that you will be able to follow my process easily. There are a few times when I changed my mind and went back and did things differently but I think it's all pretty clear. There are also a few times I skipped ahead either because things were repetitious or the angle I was working at was really hard to capture on camera. Either way I think you get a pretty good idea of how I put this thing together and I hope you will enjoy uh, watching me work on it and this thing will have a surprise reveal towards the end. So all through my process you will find anything you need to know, any mediums I will be using in the captions. So please enjoy some music and I will be back with you in just a wee bit.
And that brings me to the completed piece. Here he is. And like always, I want to show you the details one more time. I kept the body and the foot pretty much in this brown copper tone. There's a bit of gold on the substrate. But the rest has lots of color with a silver finish. And here you can see his googly eyes, his crown, and that cute little curl he has on his forehead. And of course, all the other uh, details. I was able to incorporate a lot of chains and I thought they were perfect uh, to keep this round shape of the shell. Here on the top are all the tiny details and of course a special closure. And it works by just unwinding the chain that connects through the hole to the door. That of course opens to his own personal hookah lounge. And here it is, you can set the little chain aside and you can see he has a comfortable chair, an ottoman, a small table, his hookah pipe, there's a little tile on the back wall just for decoration, there's a carpet on the floor and of course his coffee cup. So let me explain a bit more about all these things. First of all, I changed the color of the inside uh, because I wanted it to be in more contrast to the color of the furnishings. I just used some grayish acrylic paint. I distressed it with some ink. Then I made the furnishings. I had a casino chip, two bottle tops, and a tiny chair. I shortened the legs to turn it into more of an easy chair. I gave it some armrests by cutting a ring in half. I added some white gesso, some acrylic paints, and also some permanent inks uh, just to give it that wood look. To complete these little pieces, I added some red felt for cushion just to the chair and the ottoman uh, to make them look more complete. And then I happened to have this piece of fabric that looks very much like a Persian carpet. So I used a piece of this and then I put together a little miniature hookah just by stringing up some beads and bead caps on one of those jewelry pins. I added wire for those two hoses. I wrapped them in yarn and added tiny beads at the end. And then of course I arranged everything inside his shell and well, this is the way it looks now. Now my imagination behind this room is of course that after a day's work, the snail can retire to a cozy room where he can put up his feet, enjoy a cup of coffee, have a smoke from his hookah and just enjoy life. Now the little coffee cup actually has his name on it, which is Rob, a somewhat ordinary name for a very unusual snail with a slightly eccentric taste. The door of course closes and secures easily again just by winding the chain around the little hook I installed. And here it is, it's all done, full of interesting details and I hope you enjoyed the process and Rob is to your liking. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. I hope you come and see me soon again. I will be back as soon as my next project is done. In the meantime, stay well and creative and bye-bye for now.